hi guys welcome back to another video you know it's your girl shani please subscribe to this channel down below leave a like and comment down below let's get into the video Guys, today I will be talking about a very controversial topic and it's also very taboo in Jamaica. So let's get into the video and talk about it. So recently I found a video on social media circulating with a young woman talking about um, she's proud that she is cocomelon free in 2024 and she's not pregnant or she's not a baby mother. She's happy about that. So cocomelon is another word for a child a baby because it derived from the cartoon show named coco melon so and the children love coco melon the tv series and they gravitate to it so they call the children or a child coco melon so now she was saying that you know she glad says she's not a baby mother in 2024 and big up all the ladies young ladies uh, in their 20s that they're not a coca melon owner right a parent so i want to say this to that young lady i'm not coming on the internet bashing you and you know yeah but she also so i'm um, saying her video like a child is not an accomplishment some other things we're not bringing down anybody over here but i just want to address that okay so okay you're proud of your accomplishment of not having a child in uh, in your 20s your early 20s bravo i'm happy for you happy for you because a child is a lot of work let me give that down my does put that down on the table a child is a lot of work it takes determination persistence patience be with a child okay but coming on the internet bashing persons that bring forth a life in their 20s is not also a way to go about that you want to congratulate yourself and you feel good and you want to big up the other young ladies that didn't make a choice to carry a child okay you can go on the internet and say it also very respectful right look 98 percent of jamaica this is not statistics so don't quote me but 98 percent of jamaican women they didn't plan their pregnancy so it's not a planned pregnancy especially in your early 20s or your late 20s whatever period you're in your early 20s or late 20s we don't plan to have children but circumstances make us have children and 78 about 90 percent 99 percent of the time you are doing the same thing that persons in their early 20s that get pregnant is also doing so it's just by chances i will also tell us that a child is a blessing and it's an inheritance from the lord so i don't understand in 2024 that person think a child is a curse and and a child is a setback and a world dog that type of mentality should be like cut out of our thinking keep in mind you see when we're old and grey and we can't move around a child is going to be grown enough to take care of us a child is going to one day grow up to be our doctors or our lawyers or nurses or teachers or pediatricians or this or that that's a child i was once a child you was once a child so i don't understand the mindset of of this generation now that a child is like a curse and we are run away from a child I'm not saying that you should go and multiply multiply but i'm saying that a child is not a curse it's your choice that you don't want to have a child yes but i can go on the internet and bash persons that choose to bring for a child choose to bring forth a child because nobody really planned their pregnancy it just happened it just happened just like you it can happen to anybody so it's not necessary we go and say we want children god give us children and we determine so we want children it happens so it can happen to anybody and then you're going to say about single mothers and this that look here it's a man some of these men in society 
we don't we as be single mothers we don't choose to be single mothers circumstances make us single mothers is either your baby your baby father is violent is either your baby father is um they they're experiencing domestic violence either he's cheating he's a he's um he's a deadbeat that means he doesn't take care of a child and a lot of some circumstances surround a mother not being with their child's father you can't come on the internet and keep on bringing down mothers especially single mothers because we're going through a lot of society that even have need our needs addressed as yet right i mean we'll, sometimes we're going through some mental things some mental depression we're going through some mental disorder and then for to come on the internet where we're supposed to be laughing and find a mind at our mind at each still be bring down single mothers are so underrated like we go through so much we have to find feed we have to find diaper we have to find medication money we have to find this we have to find that with more other things that we have to find if our children are going to school we have to find school fee we have to find bag book pencils everything even the elephant we have to find it right we don't the help of sometimes we don't even have the help of our, the child's father so instead of you bringing down a single mother encourage that single mother it's very hard and some of us you know we are so so hypocritical because 98 percent of jamaican household is run by a mother right a maternal figure and then we, most of us are grown in single parent household to do still if you grow with both parents that is an achievement from right there and you're very lucky but 99% of the population is grown by single mothers single mothers right single mothers and then for you to be bringing down single mothers probably you will see a man where i bring down a single mother your mother was a single mother with you and your siblings right and then you to come on the you should come on the internet and bring down people for being a single mother nobody not choose to be single mother the thing people just get up and say okay i want to raise a kid by myself i want to struggle by myself i just want to do this by myself nobody not get up and do that persons don't choose most times to be a single mothers but we have the strength to get up and come out of a relationship that is toxic and that is not healthy to raise a child in and we get up and we stand up and we say no this is not suitable for a child to be raised in so we're going to get up and come out of that relationship because we know it's not suitable for our child right and then to be criticized because you made the right decision to get up and come out of that relationship and to have nothing to do with that man relationship wise right you're still going to be discriminated against okay all right you don't want to bring for a child birth a child if you do the other thing you don't bring for it you make a choice to not bring for the child and you get a child you, you have conceived a child and you make a decision to not bring for a child that is also still a problem people go and cuss you and tell you they're this and you're that and all of the story right and so anywhere you turn is just you bucking up into something you're, you're doing you're raising a child on your own yeah in your 20s people still criticize it they choose not to carry that child into the world people still choose to, um choose to criticize her so what should we do now what should we do anything that we do we see people still going to criticize us right but to come on the internet and bash single mothers that is not fair for us because we have would have enough hardship going through already like mentally i think it's easy to sit down especially the unemployed mothers to sit down you don't know where the first dollar coming from and they you just everything is just a mess it's not going oh you want it to go and then to come on the internet to be bashed the same way like everything that we do as women it is still it's such a problem and then you find it in society that is women fighting against women like why have to come on the internet like 
disrespecting single mothers. So what? We're not even trouble you. We're not even trouble you. We don't trouble you. We're not a menace to society. We're just doing our best raising a child so they can come out to something good. And then these things, if you check, if you check, if you do a survey in Jamaica and you go to the hospital, probably it's a single mother's a son or daughter is looking after you so why you try to bring down a single mother encourage that person and that is wrong with society with everything we find problem in we find problem in the things that we instead of we think are a problem we should develop a solution for these things coming on the internet being trolls and criticizing and and bringing down people for no reason like give me a reason what like a single mother is just minding her own business trying to make it for it, her for herself and her children she's not coming on the internet saying that everybody should go and have a child no she's just minding her own business but why do you choose to come on the internet and it's something that has been happening consistently so it's not a one-time thing it's not just this young lady around coming on the internet talking about they, they're glad that they're they're not they don't have a child it said it's not this young lady alone come on the internet saying that she glad she don't have a child and that single mothers this and single mothers that and baby mother this and baby mother that it has been something that is constantly happening and then our mindset as such as a society is very disturbing and it's very concerning at the same time why do we have to come on the internet to bring down single mothers and bring down persons who brought for a, for a child we don't know what this child is going to become in the future and nobody choose to become a single parent that is not nobody choice nobody dream to become a single parent but circumstances lead to us being a single parent and the thing is is it within the power of your tongue sometimes guys when I come on the internet and say these derogative things about persons who are trying just to make amends and to make life happen for them and their child sometimes the same thing will reach you and you will even be in a worse situation because they don't know what will happen 10 15 years from now five years from down the line so instead of you coming on the internet trying to discourage persons and bring down person and let them feel bad about a decision that they made encourage them try to be a pillar of strength to them instead of you coming on the internet bringing i am sick and tired come on the internet bringing down them i am literally sick and tired of persons chat looking at me like i am a failure and and i'm should i should be embarrassed of my child because this and that i'm tired of that it's not it's not pleasant i made a decision because i in my heart i knew it was the right decision to bring forth a child and then to be criticized for making a right decision it is it is very upsetting and very concerning so instead of you like bringing down a single mother and cussing out a single mother and this and talking about baby mother this and baby father this and baby this that that try to encourage these persons try to encourage these persons and you know look out for yourself as well try not use these persons as an example to not be in the same situation that they are in or we are in because i'm in that group right so stay blessed love you